Hey guys, it's Jim again. Uh, somebody pointed something out to me. I saw some new aftershaves from uh, Pinot Clubman, and uh, I hadn't seen a review on them. And they had them at Shave Nation, and uh, so I decided to buy them. And I bought the. Th there's three, three different, three, <laughs> three. How do you want to do it? I can't do that. Something about the way my bones are in my hand or constructor ligaments. I can't do that kind of three. I do three. I normally do that. You know, one, two, three, four, or five. Anyway, uh, we got some new Clubman aftershaves. Uh, the first, it's a Clubman Reserve. The first one I'm going to do a review on is, it's called Gents, Gents Gin. As you can see, a masculine scent with a gin signature, lime, and cedar notes. And on the back, they're all the same except for the scent profile. It says, uh, see, it says, uh, Club Men Reserve Aftershave puts the bar in barbershop with a masterfully crafted blends of your favorite liquor inspired aroma to make you feel all right. The gents gin scent combines lime and red cedar with fresh juniper and a gin accord to finish each shave on a smooth masculine note. Comforting post-shave care soothes and exhilarates skin as it helps heal nicks. Now the ingredients are listed there. I don't know if it's going to come in or not. There's a lot of things I can't pronounce. Alcohol, denatured alcohol, water, fragrance, benzyl benzoate, citral, citronello, coumarin, eugenol, limonene, linalool, melia azadiracta flower extract, melia azadiracta leaf extract. I guess I can't pronounce all of them. These these aftershaves have a lot of different. Uh, ingredients. Now the scent on this, I smelled it. Now it says, you know, lime, cedar, fresh juniper, and gin. And you can definitely, I mean, you can pick every single note out. There's that, there's that, uh, that kind of dry cedar scent. It's not like a rich wood scent. The cedar has like a, a well, it's dry. It smells and lime. You can definitely get the juniper. Yeah. And, you know, gin. Which are good, you know, they have a lot of good gins that have juniper in them. Juniper berries. You can definitely pick that out. Now this, I would not say, if you wore this in the wintertime, someone would probably think that you spell, spelled, spelled a bottle of Bombay Sapphire on yourself. I wouldn't recommend this in the winter. <laughs> this, I think, is a, would be excellent for uh, hot weather. Of course, this would go well with pretty much any lime soap, if you're going to pair it. Um, anything with cedar and citrus, this would be excellent. Lime, red, cedar, juniper, and gin accord. So, yeah. I mean, everything you can smell distinctly in there. This is this one. Plus, look at these bottles. See, it's got this Pinot, E.D. Pinot, Paris, New York, on one side of the bottle, plastic, plastic bottle. And on the other side, it says, insist on the genuine. There it is. Insist on the genuine, E.D. Pinot. Now these have the standard Pinot Clubman caps, so they're not exactly leak proof. But the bottle design is, is kind of, it's actually a retro design, but in plastic instead of glass. So you don't have to worry about breaking it. I mean, I, I assume it could rupture if you drop it. But um, the, the caps aren't exactly the most, they don't have the best seal. Yeah, I really like this one, but I think it's getting colder up here now in the high desert. I think it'd be much more uh, appropriate as a warm weather, late spring, summer, early fall 
not right now. It's chilly. Unless you just want to smell like that and then go for it. Or if you live in Southern California, you can pretty much wear this all year round. So that's, that's the first one. The second one I'm going to be looking at is Brandy Spice. Now this says, uh, everything's the same. Uh, Club and Reserve Aftershave puts the bar and barbershop with masterfully crafted blends of your favorite liquor-inspired aroma to make you feel all right. They all say that at the beginning of the description. But then it says, the Brandy Spice scent combines brandied apple and citrus zest with a mixed with mixed spice and musk to finish each shave on a smooth, bold note. And the ingredients in this are alcohol, water, fragrance, limonene, Eclipta prostata, prostrata extract, and yellow number six dye. So that one has even less ingredients than the, than the Jets Gin. Oh yeah, brandied apple, definitely. And you get that, there's, there's, a, there's that spice note that you get from pretty much any decent spice aftershave. Like mold cider, you get that, like a, like a mold cider. And then on the back end, you get that, hey, with musk, I get this feeling right here, like a richness. It get the musk kind of gives it like a body, gives it weight. On the back end. Yeah. I think this would pretty much go, this could easily replace your usage of aqua velva musk in any pairing. It is sweet though. That brandied apple really stands out. I think a lot of women would enjoy this as an aftershave. Either this one or the, the Gents Gin. The Gents Gin is a little drier though, it's not as sweet. But I think I think a lot of women, I know Stephanie will like this one the best out of all of them. In fact, there's a there's at least one or two Soap Commander soaps that I can think of that this would pair quite nicely with, especially the seasonal stuff, Thanks Living and things like that, potentially. Brandied apple, mixed spices, and musk notes, yeah. Head, dead on, dead on description. Um, I would probably recommend this more for fall use, uh, fall or winter, just because it's, it's, it's got that musk, it's got that sweetness, I don't, I think this probably would be a bit cloying in the warm weather as general scent, you know, fragrance knowledge. It's too sweet, it's too musky. That, that sweet richness would not, wouldn't fly very well in the heat unless you just really wanted to smell like that and that's your scent. But it smells good. We'll definitely give it a shot and give it a try. Now, I just got these in the mail today. I have no idea on the skin performance, but uh, we'll have to see. Now, this is this is the last one. This one right now, I'm digging this one. Just smelling it through the cap. As I said, the caps don't have the best seal. They leaked a little bit underneath the, the plastic tape that they have on all uh, Clubman aftershaves when you get them. This one's Whiskey Woods. It says, the Whiskey Woods scent combines tobacco leaf and bergamot with whiskey and woods to finish each shave on a smooth, smoky note. Now this, if, you know the Special Reserve, you're a, if you're a fan of Special Reserve, you have to try this. Now it's... Now that's funny. I just noticed a typo. In the label. Not that. Whiskey. Those of you that know whiskey know W-H-I-S-K-E-Y is one way to spell it. W-H-I-S-K-Y. 
is another way to spell it. Now, they call it whiskey, 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 E-Y. But then on the label, as you can see there, possibly, where is it? Right there, they have another spelling for whiskey. So, I don't know, I think that's just a typo. That's, that's a bad typo though. <laughs> you should know the difference. But it does have, it's an American whiskey scent. Man, it's, it is rich. You got the yeah. There's just like a woods. It's a blend. It smells like a blend of woods, different woods. But you definitely the whiskey is there. You get the sweet, the rich tobacco with the with the citrus rounding it off on top. Yeah, what was it? Whiskey, woods, scent combined, tobacco, leaf, bergamot, whiskey, whiskey, and woods. I think this would go well. This would go well with any tobacco scented aftershave or uh, soap. Because um, it's that that the tobacco note is actually quite predominant. Good pairing. It's not going to be exact, of course, but. It's a good pairing. Now the ingredients on this one, this one has the most ingredients and difficult to pronounce. You've got denatured alcohol, water, fragrance, butylphenol, methylpropanol, citrol, citronello, citramol, or I'm sorry, cinnamol, coumarin. Hydroxy so hexyl three Silohexene carbo carb carbosyl. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, limonene, lin linalool, blue, red, and yellow dyes. This one is definitely the best for cold weather. I wouldn't wear this in the summer. Maybe at night if it cools off. I wouldn't wear this in warm weather. Very strong, very strong. I mean, the only things that are saving you from that from that whiskey and wood is the, the tobacco and the, the I mean, you get that sweetness from the whiskey and the rich sweet from the tobacco but yeah this is definitely a cold weather winter winter aftershave this will be excellent in the winter time I'll probably be wearing this this winter of course as I said I mean you'll the reviews on this will be coming I'm sure in the future these uh, whiskey and woods and brandy spice, gents gin or gents gents gin. But uh, sharp looking bottles. They all they all have this seal on the side. The Ed Pino Paris New York, and then this one says insist on the genuine Ed Pino. So. Notice a typo. I notice typos. Can't help it. Uh, it's just part of who I am. But uh, the scents are excellent. Now they do. They do have. There is a classic kind of. That it is a departure from their standard line. But I think the quality of the blends. And it's not overly complicated. What, three or four notes each? You can pick out everything in there. It's a simple, simple blend. It's all of them. All of them are relatively simple. With four notes, pretty much four primary notes tops for you to be doing some pairings with some different soaps. So, uh, yeah, I encourage you guys to go out there and try these Club and Reserves. Like I said, I got these at Shape Nation. There are, if you want to source it, there are, there's at least one other source I was able to find for them. But you can always give Shape Nation your business. That's up to you. You could support a big, huge company or you could support a fellow wet shaver. Um, so I probably will be restocking these through Shave Nation 
as long as they're available. I hope they're available because there's so many people. I think this is a, this is a great offering to the wet shaving community and and you know shavers everywhere. Pino could stand to expand their selection and update. Provide some more offerings to the marketplace. And I think all three of these, they're, they're all different, distinctly different. Great offerings for shavers that want to try Clubman but might, might not like the classic Clubman scent or any of the classic Clubman scents. Uh, yeah, this one, this one could easily replace citrus musk, not lime sec. Well, maybe lime sec. The lime is strong. And this brandy spice, I don't know what this would... This is very, very apple. Sweet brandied apple is one of the primary scents. With just a little bit of musk to give it some body. Musk and spice. Malt, like mold brandy, apple brandy with that musk to give it some rich, give it some body. Because brandied apple, even with the spice, would just be like a thin note. And then this whiskey woods. Man, that's a man's, that's a man scent. That's a very masculine scent. You know, I almost pick up anise. Or maybe... And not licorice, like almost like a very light anise. It helps if you've smelled a lot of things and you kind of can pick stuff out. Yeah, it's better to smell it out of the bottle or out of the cap. And yeah, there's almost an anise to that. I think that would pair well with a lot of different things. So yeah, give these a try. Go over to Shave Nation, look them up, or source them wherever you want. Google it, Google Club and Reserve, and then one of the aftershave titles. Don't just do Club and Reserve because all you're going to get responses are probably are Special Reserve. But uh, yeah, this could, if you like Special Reserve, or if you wanted to like Special Reserve but just couldn't, give this one a try. I think there's a lot of people that, that couldn't quite handle Special Reserve that are going to like this a lot. The Whiskey Woods. Definitely. There's no leather, but you can live without the leather. So, that's it. Give it a try. I'm going to be using these in the near future. And uh, I hope all you guys had a good Halloween. Ours was quiet. The kids went out and came back uneventful. So, good if you've got kids. Uh, give these a try. Like I said, I got them at Shave Nation. They were $8.99. Uh, shipping, you know, it's, it's, you're shipping alcohol, so you got to pay a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, yeah, good deal. Good deal. So you guys all have happy shaves. I'm sure that you'll give these a try if you're Clubman uh, fans, uh, Pinot fans. Or uh, if you want to want to try some new aftershaves. I hope, you know, if any of those scent descriptions I gave you... Uh, seem appealing, give them a try. Shave Nation. And uh, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.